1977, Anne Drury wrote a song with the lyrics, There Ain't Half Been Some Clever Bastards. So let's see if this Essex beer has been brewed by some. Seeing me walking around, the boy about town that you heard of. Seeing me walking the streets on top of the world that you heard of. It's a beer of clock, and from the Mighty Oak Brewery in Malden in Essex, we have a can of their nut bastard coming in at 5.8%. ABV. Now, Mighty Oak, um, it's right on my doorsteps in Malden in Essex and they've gladly sent me a few beers to, to review on, on the channel and this is the first one we're going to do, this Nut Bastard. What, what a name for a beer. Now, I first come across Mighty Oak Brewery, um, must have been around 2007 time when they brought out a beer called Malden Gold and it sort of become champion golden ales and got a silver, uh, got lots of awards and it was in the pubs everywhere. Malden Gold, wherever you went, tended to have Malden Gold on tap. And at the time, it round Essex, it's quite a revelation to believe, believe it or not because, you know, before that you had your usual sort of Green King IPA crap and, and stuff like that. So it was a blessing in disguise. And then they, they've gone on and made a couple of other famous ales um, that you might have had. One called Oscar Wilde Mild and, and a, a sort of, a bitter like a sort of it's, it's like a best sort of bitter really it's called captain bob and they're the sort of the three main sort of beers they're famous for and then you've got um you've got your jake the snake um, which is believe it or not um that was a blinding beer i remember that coming out that was that was first a beer jake the snake was first a beer that was done as a monthly special and that must have been oh 20 2012 time 20 maybe 2012 maybe 2013 around that time when jake the snake was a was a special and i've actually got a bottle of that to review later on but yeah this is now obviously looks like it's a, it's a regular beer for them so without further ado let's crack this open i do love the name of this nut bastard <laughs> it's um it's especially because of the Essex theme of Ian Drury, you know, um, you know, even though he was more bark in Essex, um, he still used to sing a lot about Essex and Essex was a passion for him. So hence why I thought his lyrics would be good at the beginning of this, this review. Now I gather, um, all I can find out about this beer is they use the first gold goldings and Bramley Cross hops in it. So that's interesting. Now it's it's a hazy beer. First impressions looks rather good, doesn't it? Um, it's a lovely. It actually looks like um sort of hazy um, grapefruit juice, um, hazy pineapple juice. Um, that's what it's sort of got the colour off of a lovely sort of one and a half finger white tight foam head. Let's get the aroma. Oh, there's a bit of spiciness to this. It's spicy, it's fruity. It's, I can smell sort of an orange sort of zest to it. And I'm getting a little bit of black current there. Um, a little bit of honey. Really, it's not overly powerful, the aromas. They're really, really subtle. And yeah, quite sort of fresh, sort of orangey. It's a hint of, oh, I think it's black currant there. It's, it's, you know. 
orange spicy honey with a little hint of black currant is what I'm getting. So let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. First thing that is really standing out to me is the finish, which is like, oh, orange peel. Definitely the orange peel on the finish. It's quite bitter, quite dry. Do you know what it reminds me of? I like to sometimes cook chicken thighs where I put black pepper on them, crack black pepper, and then I baste marmalade on top and that's how I cook them. And there is this sort of hint of this sort of oh, this black pepper honey with the with the with the with the pith, the orange pith at the end. It's very sort of similar to sort of uh, you've got this spicy honey marmalade type taste to this beer. That's the only way I can describe it. It's a lot, lot different to anything I've had from Mighty Oak in the past. Usually their beers don't really go sort of much over four and a half percent, believe it or not. So they're really pushing the boundaries out with this by taking it up to this 5.8%. Um, there's not many Mighty Oak beers you're going to find at this sort of ABV. Um, it's... I was expecting it to have more flavour, but I think it being subtle on the flavours perhaps makes it a better beer. Too many of these beers um, have got so much flavour in and then sometimes you think to yourself to get all that flavour is it really really hops and malts and that are they adding a chemical element? Yes, they are, some of these. Some of these craft beers are adding chemicals and flavorings. Um, unless they're using real ingredients and then you're paying a lot, a lot of money, you know, like you're eight, nine quids for a beer. Whereas this is, I gather it was about, it's, it's about three pound 50 a can, which, you know, puts it just slightly above, you know, um, what your Tesco beers are gonna be. And that, you know, the, um, it's a, for the money. This is a good craft beer. This is. I can see where my joke are coming from with this. They've got their, they've got their, their die hard. Mighty Oak Drinkers. 
and you can see that if you ever go into a pub and they have a mighty oak tap you'll see people are staunch that's, that's all they'll drink all night is the mighty oak stuff um you know it's got a, quite a bit of a, a, a good following in Essex mighty oak beers um especially in the north Essex and I can see that obviously my joke want to move into this craft beer game like most breweries do at the moment because that's where the action is so I think and I'd love my joke to come on here and correct me if I'm wrong but I think they've in, they've brought this out and they've brought it out as a it's a very very subtle flavored beer you know there's a lot happening but it's not in your face it's not really really juicy it's not you know jumping out at you it's this way to try and get wean their mighty oak faithful onto a craft beer side of the action which they're going to try to digress into that's 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 the way i look at this it's you know to sort of old bob who's always drunk his captain bob in his pub right sonny sees a can of this on the bar you know and or sees this on pump and he sees all oh, 5.8 percent you know it's usually sort of 3.8 that i've been drinking oh that's a bit strong but then it's got the mighty oak sort of flavors to it that he's experienced with the other mighty oak beers and it probably will then nudge him into going oh this is good stuff and then if they did produce or are going to produce more and more this this craft side of things the core element of the mighty oak drinkers are hopefully just going to fall on board or that's what i think mighty oak are hoping um yeah it's it's a good beer a lot of craft beer heads will probably turn their nose up at it because it hasn't got enough juiciness isn't in your face enough but i don't think it's been designed for that it's been designed to perhaps take mighty oak like die hard mighty oak drinkers up to another level of a stronger abv beer with a bit of flavor there but it's still got the traditions of the mighty oak beer so without further ado look so you can get hold of a can of this um, i think they would uh, they had it in a uh, um beautiful beers up in bury st edmunds or go to mighty oak direct they've got a website i'd like to thank mighty oak for sending me this beer and very much appreciated um i hope i've done it justice for you and i hope i hope i've got it right in thinking what you're you're trying to do here that's the way i look at it right so correct me if i'm wrong please do um so get hold of a bottle try it see what you think leave a comment below give us a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time i bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like i always say beer is the answer but i cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night <coughs> tt says never play with matches fireworks and always drink responsibly <coughs>